Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are back to playing The Sims 4 Single Dad. It has been a hot minute since the last part and I don't even know why. Actually, no, that's a lie. I know exactly why and you probably know as well. It's because Get Famous came out and I was obsessed with it and I wanted to make the most of the hype and get you guys hyped. So yeah, I am back to Single Dad and I'm glad because I've missed this series a lot. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So yeah, thank you for being so patient um, whilst we were covering Get Famous. It's nice to be back in our familiar apartment, just like the good old days. And yay, I um, I have been here for so long. And it was just Christmas. I think in the last part, they had a terrible Christmas with their with their mom. It was a little bit upsetting. And I think because we finished all of the badges on on here, uh, we're actually ready to age up Aiden Sicily. Is that right? If we finished all of the badges, I'm gonna get him to check that as soon as he's up. Oh, and look, the fire's burning. It's pretty cold outside today. And it looks like everyone's just like chilling out in bed. It's a Friday. And how many more days of winter? Oh, it's our second last day of winter. So <gasps> that's exciting. It's gonna get warm again. You guys, Ami is snoring. She's so cute. Bless Ami. Now, the thing with Ami is she is an elder. She is going to hit elderly age in a little while. Hopefully she's got a little bit to go because we are on long-term aging now. So hopefully she, yeah, has a little bit more to live. But I'm, I'm kind of torn with Ami because I'm like, do we want her to, what do we want her to do before she passes away? Because I almost thought it would be really cool for her to write a cookbook. But in order to do that, I'm pretty sure we have to get to like level eight of the culinary career. And I don't know if we have enough time to do that. I mean, we could try. The other thing is we could cheat it, but I don't really want to cheat it. Um, I don't think that would be, I don't know. I just don't feel like cheating at the moment. I'm just not a cheater, okay? And it looks like we have night on the town. Oh, cool. So we can go out for dinner if we want to for free, I'm pretty sure. And Ami ignores this tradition from being an elder. Wow, that is a little bit ageist, isn't it? My gosh, do the others want to go out? The others want to go out, so I guess Ami will go out if she wants to. Um, okay, so what we might do is we might get her up. Let's get her to serve some breakfast. Uh, what should she make today? Eggs Benny. Yum, 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 yum. I might have eggs for dinner tonight, actually. Uh, and Azra, she's looking pretty good. Let's get her to have a shower and then she can have some pancakes after that. And then Hayden, I mean, his energy was pretty far down. So I'm gonna leave him there sleeping away. Oh my gosh, a one, what happened to you? Oh my gosh, the single dad has hit rock bottom. And some of you guys were saying that he needs to work on his dad bud. I love the dad bod. I thought he looked so cute. I mean, he's doing really well because his energy's gone up a fair bit, but why is he like this? Recently bitten from a vampire? Oh my gosh, is that what ha What, how did a vampire get in here? I didn't see any vampires. Um, wow, so he probably, he got bitten by a vampire. That's what happened. That's crazy, you guys. I need to lock our door because I do not want any more vampires coming in here. Like, imagine if, the vampire had come and got one of the kids. That would have been terrible. Ami, are you eating what I think you're eating? Uh -huh. You're not meant to eat your lava cake. You're meant to sell your lava cakes. Good grief. Did she even make the pancakes? Oh no, we didn't make pancakes today. We made eggs Benny. That's right. She did. She never finished it. Okay, well, we'll get Emmy to resume that. And I think we'll... S I mean, I almost feel like as an elder, she shouldn't really go into the cul culinary business because it's really stressful. I don't know, maybe the other kids will write the cookbook. It's kind of sad though. I wanted her to write it so then she could teach the kids, but maybe that will have to be in the next generation. Uh, okay, so one is up. That dad bod is kind of cute, but he has, he does have a bit more of a tummy than when we began the series, I think. Anyway, let's uh, check out what he needs to do today. He does need to spray graffiti for a couple of hours um, and give the woohoo talk. Oh my gosh, can we just hug lovingly? before she goes off to school. Uh, school does start soon. Oh, she still hasn't eaten anything. Girl, you need to eat something. She's not gonna have enough time because she's going to school in a second. I mean, we could quickly put some lunch in a bag. Do we have anything in here? Uh, oh, 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 we have the eggs, Benny. Okay, quickly, let's put this quickly into a pack sack lunch. A pack lunch, a sack lunch. Okay, and quickly, quickly give that to our girl. Stop carrying it. Why are you carrying it so far away? What? Yep. No, we just missed the opportunity. I mean, wait, can we just put it into her thing? Oh no, she's fine. We got it in time. Phew. 
I just wanted to have a nice packed sack lunch. That's all I wanted, okay? Um, all right, well maybe Ami should go over to her son and be like, oh yeah, so we did complete all of our badge progress. I mean, it's so satisfying seeing that all of the badges are completed. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, and we didn't give him any, you know what? Don't go to school just yet. Let's say skip school, but we'll head to school in just a second. I just want them to have their sack lunches, okay? Okay. Yes. Now put that in your little in your little onesie pocket. Oh, Ami. Oh, look at his responsibility going up. He's such a good boy. I don't want him to age up. It's sad, you guys. Okay, there you go. Now, honey buns, you can go off to school and enjoy your day and eat your sack lunch and you're good to go. Oh my gosh, it's a big day getting the kids ready for school, isn't it? Okay, so um, you know what? Maybe we should pack sack lunches tomorrow for this. So let's like pack a couple. Um, then Ami, I might get her to start cooking. And then I was thinking that Hayden should start uh, learning how to cook when he ages up into a teen. That would be pretty good. So what was I going to do? No, I don't want you to cook. I want you to cook. For a second, I was so confused. Oh, okay. She's just having a little dance. She's like, yes, morning dance. This is what I do sometimes. It's actually a really lovely way to start the day. Okay, pack into sack lunch, pack into sack lunch, and then we need you uh, working from home at 4 p.m. Oh, we got time. We need you to go back here, get rid of this uh, mural, and then start doing the mural for yourself, okay? I wanna see a pretty picture that you make. What is this picture of? Oh, there's a cat, there's a lady, and then there's half a lady's face, and it's a fish. Wait, what? I see both a fish and faces. Wow, all the things you can see. It's like looking at the clouds and you can make out all of these different shapes. All right, so how much are we actually making these days? We're making 66 an hour. It's not too bad, but I feel like this career sucks for making money. Like we're so close to, I don't know, earning bigger money, but we, I just feel like we're always struggling. <laughs> if it wasn't for Ami, like good grief. I don't know what we would be doing with our life. Why are you so angry? Oh, you feel uncomfortable from being Oh, <gasps> no, Azra's responsibility fell out of the responsible trait. Oh man. Oh, and the kids are already back from school. What? Why is she back at 10 a.m.? That's kind of weird. I mean, okay, sure thing. Uh, do a workout. There we go. <laughs> well, we didn't tell the dad to work out, but we told Azra to work out. So at least she'll she'll learn um, how good exercise is. Okay, did you put the sack lunches in next to the TV or anything? I swear, you know what, fine. You don't wanna make sack lunches. You don't have to make sack lunches. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, kiss and tell. Hayden spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. He didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. He is too young for kissing. My goodness, you naughty boy. I was totally the kid who ran away from other kids when they're playing kiss chasey. I would just hide. It's test day and Hayden is so nervous. He totally blanks. Even copying his neighbor won't work because his neighbor is a D student. What to do? <gasps> Take deep breaths, maybe? Yeah. Uh, he tries to quell his anxiety by taking by taking big, deep breaths. I actually went through that in my anxiety video the other day, which you can watch. And what do you know? It works. Sure, his classmates shoot him some funny looks, but when you're an A student, you have to take every test seriously. You know what? That's right. That is completely right. Actually, when does he age up anytime soon naturally? Or is he... Yeah, he's got another seven days. It's okay. We can age him up. Oh, she's just watering the plants. I can't believe she's home from school at 10 a.m. I mean, okay. Well, I think it's time that we start working on Azra's writing skills. She wants to be a best-selling author, so let's get her to practice her, practice her writing. And I mean, we can write a genre book, maybe a children's book, and that's a good way for her to begin making money. Um, you know, she can follow in her dad's footsteps in that way. Has he been working for two hours now? Oh, it's kind of frozen. There we go. Um, oh yeah. Oh no, right for two hours, spray graffiti for two hours. If we stop this, will it register? Cause I feel like it's not registering as you go. Did you go to school in your pajamas, Mr. Hayden? You naughty boy. Like what? How? <sighs> He's like, I didn't mean to kiss the girls. They wanted me to go chase them. <laughs> A missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys. And I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Keep looking for it. That's so mean. Play with a different toy, okay? It's like, okay, thanks, Ami. 
You're the best. Oh, I thought he was gonna give us a hug then, but nope, I guess not. Remember that time when we set fire in here because we forgot to empty the lint tray or I did? All right, well, let's maybe take Ami to the store quickly. I think at about 11.30 a.m. It's probably time for her to change out of her outfits. Uh, 11.30, it's still very early. Maybe because it's like night on the town, the kids finish school early, I don't know. But let's get her into her finest red outfit. She oh. looks amazing. And how many Bobby. things do we have here? we have okay we we have seven hours until it spoils so actually i think we really do need to go to the store now last time we were at the store we had a lot of issues with trying to sell stuff like a lot of it was glitching out i don't know if it's because we're trying to sell things on a lot but we need to have a cash register. I'm wondering if that's why it's playing up. I don't really know. So let's give it one more try and just see if it oh, was just yeah. like the day that we tried to do it, it just wasn't happening. Let's also mark Ooh. down the prices a little bit because I don't know how high we had the prices. I mean, 100% is a lot. <laughs> Should we try 50%? I mean, we'll still make a pretty penny. Uh, and then let's start a yard sale and, and we'll just see who comes um maybe we'll lock the door for everyone but household members and just see if we get any sales oh hey dude do you want to buy our lava cake they're very lovelicious i know you do ah there's a vampire look at her creepy eyes that walk is actually like so scary like can they not just blink for a second <laughs> Okay, if anyone wants to buy our cakes, they're looking amazing. They are excellent quality. Of course, you can't buy them anywhere else. They are Ami's edibles and they are fabulous. Okay, we are still not selling anything and there are so many people here. So I feel like this is not working. So I don't know, like, I don't know. I guess we have to have a cash register. The other option is we could go the route of having a fridge so we don't have to ring up every customer, I don't think. That's another option. It's a tough one though, you know? Uh, running the store just takes so long, you know what I mean? But I guess if we hire people, we don't have to be on the lot, so it's not too bad. Uh, so maybe let's transfer like 500. I think that's gonna be enough, hopefully, for us to get the cash register that we need. And we also need to have a surface. I think we have to have a counter. Let's just go cheap as chips. We don't need anything fancy. Let's just get uh, this one. Wait, is it a bench counter or a normal counter we get? I don't know, let's just try it out. So we got that. We got this. Okay, now we have everything we need. Now we'll put these back in there. Oop, oops, the daisies, pop those in. Let's pack this bad boy up. And this is just like, let me know if your games are glitching out. Like I know it gets, <laughs> bye guys. Thanks for all of your amazing business. Like what's the point of everyone coming here if no one's gonna buy anything? Like seriously, what are people's problems? Okay, so we just have this random fridge that people <laughs> can buy stuff from. We have the weirdest looking place. Like we're definitely, Ooh, perk points. No items for sale. Oops, I forgot to put the items in. People buy our stuff. Uh, let's just double check they're in there. Yeah, that's okay. Do we have to close it again? Let's close. It's not like we made any money or lost any money. There we go. We're open for business. Everyone come buy our stuff. And do we need to do it? set store prices? I don't even know what our store prices are at. Perk points. What can we do here? Provocative pedestal. Oh. I don't think I really want that. Stunning sign, we don't need any of this. Register of tomorrow unlocks the, okay, is the register of tomorrow today? Okay, okay. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, we're just gonna keep that closed and save things. <gasps> yes, ma'am, buy, buy a cake for yourself, treat yourself. Did you just say no? As if you don't love the cakes that are in this fridge. I know our place looks kind of dodgy, but there's some fantastic things in there. Okay, guys, so the store just isn't working. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's glitched. Let me know in the comments down below, but it's really frustrating. So in the end, I've gone to the good old, same old trick where we just just sell it on the street on our little table and it seems to be doing okay. Uh-oh, night on the town was awful. Well, we had to work because it's just not doing well enough. All right, ladies, this is the last one. Zara, Lena, <gasps> we have so much money. I get so excited when we make money. Who's gonna take the last cake? Oh my gosh, Ami is about to pass out. So <laughs> I'm thinking that, um, I mean, all the kids are all in terrible moods. So I'm gonna get them to go to bed. Um, also, while Asra was working away, she did get up to writing level two. So she can actually start writing her first 
of a book, which is really exciting. I might actually get a one to come down here and tend the table instead. Ami can go home, go to bed, do that. And we'll just try and sell this last cake. Oh, 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 are you gonna buy our cake? No? What is going on here? You, you're getting a little bit angry at the customer, are you, one? I know it's it's late in the morning. He's like, please buy my cake. Please, for the love of God, it's just one more. I really need to go to bed. Oh, thank God for this wealthy cowboy guy who's actually quite attractive, Blaine. He finally, finally bought our cake at 6.30 in the morning. We were just up all night trying to sell that cake, but you know, for like one grand, kind of worth it. So the great news is because we were up all night uh, selling stuff, it is Saturday, which means it's also New Year's Day, which I think is a perfect day for us to age up a little Hayden. I mean, he's been so cute. I kind of almost like don't want to age him up because he's so adorable. But I guess at the same time, we probably should. And we have a bit of money as well to do over the room. So you know what? Maybe in the comments down below, let me know exactly what birthday we should have for Hayden. And maybe I'll save it for the next part so you guys can and actually give a little bit of input into what we're going to be doing. Also, I would like some building music on as well whilst we do this. Thank you very much. Uh, so I guess if Hay Hayden's growing up, we might do his uh, little bedroom renovation in a little while. Okay, so let's see. We need to get some sad tables in here. Okay, so these ones kind of match um, because they're like pretty in pink. And then we could put like a couple of these big curtains here that can kind of be drawn across the windows and those are from Dine Out so it goes with the culinary theme. Uh, I guess we probably could do with a rug as well. I mean this one's kind of you know soft and army like I think you know a little bit grandma is okay and kind of works with the theme. I might actually get rid of this because I've realized that the lava cake lasts for quite some time and I know we got that so that people couldn't eat our food. But if we just keep it in our inventory and just keep an eye on Ami, it should be okay. <gasps> we could use this brand new Get Famous wardrobe, but it's a little bit exy. So we might just go with something simple like this. And I've put a few of the kids things over here because I just feel like Ami would probably like the kids pictures and decorations and school projects. Um, she's got a nice mirror there that she might want to hand down to one of them uh, when she passes away. So that's Ami's nice and very purple room. I've also been saying that I desperately, desperately, desperately really want to put another put in another bathroom. So we might put in the other bathroom just here. Uh, and in terms of the wall and grounds, maybe we'll just go for the browns that we've already kind of been into. And then this computer, I mean, I feel like this little area, now that there's no laundry there, we could make it into like a study. Or we could also have it as a study laundry, which I know some of you guys might not be keen on. Otherwise, I'm not really sure where else to place the study space. It's like, it's a big house, but we didn't really think this through. I mean, as for his room, why didn't we want to make this smaller again? Oh, that's right, because it would have cut off that wall there. Because so I was going to say maybe we could kind of place that there, but that doesn't work at all, does it? Uh, maybe it has to stay in there. Maybe I understand why I did that in the past. Past Deli was a smart lady. Let's get this beautiful shower in here from Seasons because I love that. It kind of goes with the industrial theme quite nicely. And then I guess we could just put up a, a couple of mirrors just like that. Oh my gosh, it's such a relief to have some money and some moolah in the cooler. You can go like that. Maybe put this plant in there. Maybe in like another colorway would be cool. The white and red's kind of different. It's different, it's unusual. <laughs> Be just like a basic rug actually you know what rug could be cute this in red it's very bright but it's kind of fun and forget that little toilet roll okay so we have another bathroom which is really important because we have been struggling with having not enough bathrooms in the house oh my gosh i just realized we don't have as much money as i kind of hoped that we had maybe for azra we'll change up the bedding a little bit i kind of like the idea of a yellow bed but then I guess it's a bit moldy poopy color. Let's go with a couple of these side tables. I feel like this family um, mirror would be kind of cool. <gasps> Parenthood, oh my gosh, we only have $330. No, I mean, we could sell our edible place because 
For some reason that's not working, but I'll let you guys get back to me on that one first because I might have got it wrong. Okay, let's put these up here. Oh, I thought we had way more money than we did. <laughs> let's get those two lights there. That's kind of cute. I mean, we could have a feature wall, but I'm just trying to remember what kind of purples we might have to go with um, our bedding because that's quite a fuchsia color. Could go this and change this up a little bit. We could do like a strip of paint here just for a bit of funsies. Maybe a clothes rack in the corner definitely gives that industrial vibe. And I think what would be really nice uh, for Azra is if she could actually have her own computer. Now, I don't know if we can afford that, probably not at this stage, but it would be ideal. So maybe we'll work up to it. We'll just get her a desk and chair for now. And then over time, she'll hopefully be able to get a computer. How much would that be? Um, $1,400, which isn't too bad. Like that's only one Ami's edible. <laughs> and then of course we have um, our other bedrooms to work on a little bit, but at least we have Ami's room covered. I think she deserves that from being the main bacon bringer in, in the family. We have an ensuite, so a second bathroom ready. And we also have um, teens girl bed bedroom done, Azra's room. A little bit more furnished, so I think that's good. I think we've done well with that. So I think what I might do, you guys, is finish up this part right here and you guys can let me know in the next part how you want to celebrate Hayden's birthday. I know I've already asked you guys before, but to just, in case our minds have changed, if you could let me know in the next part, that would be great. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you would like to happen next. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon. So, so.